Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make an infographic video on Canva. With Canva, you can get started for completely free. All you'll need to do is go onto canva.com and from there you can sign up using your email address. Once you have signed up, I want you to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in infographic video. The reason why I recommend Canva for EVA Complete Beginners is all you'll need to do is simply type in what you would like to create and it is going to provide you with numerous templates that you can choose from that will allow your design to look like it was professionally made. Now once you have typed in infographic video, you can see the different video templates right here. And you can scroll down and you can choose any one of these templates that are to your liking. And for example, anyone that you see with the money sign right here or the dollar sign, that recommends that you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to access that particular template. But let's say, for example, we would like to edit this template right here. All you'll need to do is tap on the template that you'd like to edit. Then you can see the different pages right here. At the moment, this has four pages. And we're going to tap on customize this template. By tapping on customize this template, you will be redirected to a new page. Once on the canvas, you are going to pay attention to some stuff for me, please. The first thing that I want you to pay attention to is the timeline at the bottom of the page right here. At the moment, you can see that our infographic video is 16 seconds long. And you can also see that it has four pages as I stated earlier. The other thing that I want you to pay attention to is the left hand menu option. From the left hand menu option you have the text right here and you can also upload images or videos to your infographic video. Now to start editing what I would recommend you do you can change the text section to whatever you want so let's say, for example, I were to change this and type in simple answers right here. After I've done that, you can also edit the font size if you want. All you'll need to do is simply select the font. And from there, you can change the font size right here. You can also change the font style or type by simply tapping right where you see pop-ins on my screen. And from there, you could select the font style that you would like to use. Let's say, for example, this font style. You could also change the font color if you want by tapping on the capital A. And also, if you would like to add some effects to your text, you could simply tap on effects. And for example, if you would like to add a shadow, you can do that. Or some form of background to the text, you can do that, as you can see right there. Now that we have done that, if you would like to change the images in this section, you can do that. All you'll need to do is tap right here. You can change the background color as you can see. And if you like to delete it, you could tap on the trash can to remove it. After you have removed it, to add something else, you can go over to the left hand menu option. You can either choose to upload something or you could go right here where you see design. And from there, you can choose from any one of these options. Or if you'd like to add something random, you could tap on elements. Then just for example sake, let's say I would like to add a coconut tree. I could simply type in coconut tree right here. Then you will see different graphics or images that you can choose from. And I'm going to tap on see all. And then I can choose this particular coconut tree right here. Let's say I would like to add this. Just for example sake, I'm going to tap on it. And I'm going to drag it onto the canvas. And I'm going to add it right here. Now you may be wondering how will you animate your image or your graphic. As you can see, these are animated. All you'll need to do, for example, again, the coconut tree. You will select the coconut tree. Then you're going to tap on animate. And then you can choose whether you'd like it to pan, as you can see right here, or you'd like it to fade. You can select any one of these options, as you can see here. Let's say, for example, I would like it to pan. I'm going to tap on that. And you can do this to edit any one of these pictures. So you can add any picture you want. 
And by the way, you can also change the transition right here by simply tapping on it. So instead of it being color wipe, you could change it. Let's say you would want it to be circle wipe. You could do that. You can also change it, the duration as you can see right here. And you can see other options for transitions as you can see right there. So you can choose which option best suits you. Now that we have done that, if you would like to, for example, change the duration, all you'll need to do is tap on duration at the bottom of the page. Once you have tapped on duration, you're going to tap on edit timing. Then from there, you can edit the timing. So let's say I would like it to be 11 seconds long. You can apply this to all four pages or to only one page. I'm going to be applying it to all four pages. So I'll simply toggle that on right there. After you have done that now, you can select page two. And again, you could do any editing that you want. For example, you can change the text if you want. You can also change the image right here if you wanted to. And you can do this with all four pages. And if you would like to add an additional page, you'll simply tap on add page at the end of the timer. Now that we have done that, if you would like to, for example, add music, all you're going to do is tap right below the video or the timeline right there. And you can see the audio that was added previously. If you would like to change the audio, you can simply tap on the three dots, then tap on delete track. Then we are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on upload. After you have tapped on upload, you could upload the audio that you would like to add or you could tap on audio right here. And if you had uploaded one in the past, you will find it right there and you could simply drag and add it to the timeline. So let me do that real quick. Or if you wanted to record an audio, you can also do that. To record an audio, all you'll simply do is tap on record yourself right here and you'll be able to record a voice over if you want. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner. And by the way, you can see the video duration is now 46 seconds. As remember that I had increased the video duration. All you'll need to do now is scroll down and you have two options. You can either copy the link and you'll be able to share it with anyone. They don't have to be on Canva. You can share the raw link and they'll be able to click on it and be able to view your infographic video. Or you can choose to download it by tapping on download. Then from there, you could simply select all pages as you can see right here. Then tap on download and that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.